Hey, it's Alex here from alexfergus.com and I've got some great news. Juve, the manufacturers of these red light panels I'm standing next to, have just uh, released some information on a new product. It's called the Juve Go and it's a handheld red light device, red light therapy device. Um, so I'm going to go through what we know about it and what we don't know about it in this video. Um, I'm really excited by it because I think this device is going to be awesome uh, for myself You know, when I'm traveling and going to the beach and whatnot and for sport application um, and I'm sure you guys are going to love it as well. So if you don't know what red light therapy is uh, or why I'm excited by this new Juve product, check out all the links below. I'll put reviews uh, on Juve devices and red light therapy devices and uh, include an article on everything you need to know about red light therapy. So check that out if, if you think what the hell is all this stuff. So check that out first. Um, as for what we know about this new device, like I said, it's called the Juve Go. Um, it's smaller than the current uh, smallest device in the Juve product range, which is the Juve Mini. I don't have one right here with me now, but the Juve Mini is a uh, yay big um, designed for like, you know, doing your face or a particular body part. Um, so it's going to be a lot smaller than that, a lot, lot smaller. Um, it's going to use the same high power, low EMF uh, LEDs that these devices use. These are the first generation devices, um, the Juve products. So they'll be using the LEDs from the second gen uh, Juve panels, which is going to be great, which means you know you're going to get a lot of good uh, energy, red light jewels coming, coming into the body. Um, and also we know those units are low in EMF, which is great. Um, it's portable, meaning it runs off batteries, so there's no cord. Well, there might be a cord. I don't know how we charge it up yet. Uh, I can't find out that information yet, but we know it runs off batteries. So, I mean, it's, this is why we great unit for traveling. You know, if you go away for the night, you don't want to take your big panel. Um, you can pop this in your suitcase or your handbag or your backpack and know you can still get, you can still get your red light uh, hit in the morning or wherever you may be, even when you're traveling, you know, on the plane, in the bus. So uh, you might get some weird looks given how powerful these devices are. Um, it'll be great for like sports if you're, I don't know, heading to your soccer game or an event and you want to use the red light therapy to help warm up or to treat a niggling injury on the bus right there or when, when you're there. I mean, that'll be great because that's one downside with these big panels. You know, they're great when you're at home or in the clinic, but not when you're out and about. Another thing I am excited by is, um, the application with, with going to the beach and sunburn because red light therapy is amazing for sunburn. Seriously, like uh, I've talked about it in another video, so I don't need to go into it again. But um, a few times I'll go to the beach and you will overdo it and you think, oh, I can't wait to get home to hit the red light panel. Um, now, if there's a handheld device, then you know as soon as the beach session is over, you can you can start working on that sunburn. Um, what else? It comes with a travel case, a special travel case. Again, I haven't seen images of that. Uh, this is just pulled from their website. Uh, based on the product images I've seen of the Juve Go, it has 12 LEDs in total. Uh, so three across and four down. Um, so, I mean, again, if you look at this, this is what, five, five across here, uh, six down. So, you know, it will be smaller than this unit. Um, you'll be able to choose whether it's all red, uh, 660 nanometer, or near infrared, which is the 850 nanometer, which is a neat feature. Um, like the Juve panels now, the, the Juve Go will be FDA cleared, which is cool. Uh, and it also has built in Bluetooth uh, with the ability to turn that on and off. And I think that's to sync to an app. I mean, personally, I don't really use that, um, but some people will like that feature. So that's what we know. Uh, what we don't know is the price. Um, given the Juve Mini, a couple hundred bucks or about five, six hundred bucks, uh, you know, surely it will come on a, a come in at a price point below that. Um, I don't know, maybe three, four hundred bucks. I don't know. I guess time will tell. We don't know how long the battery will last. Uh, I'm hoping. I mean, given the LEDs, they shouldn't draw too much power, and I doubt it will have a fan in it. Like these these bigger units have fans in them, and I'm sure that's pulling a lot of power. Um, so I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's, it's hard to say. Surely though, you'll get a couple of sessions out of it, out of it, uh, out of a, a full charge, I guess. Um, you know, I, I typically do about five to 10 minutes per body part I'm doing, obviously with these big panels, you know, I just do the whole body in one hit. Um, so I don't know, hopefully, you, hopefully there'll be enough power in there for a couple of sessions, uh, hopefully, because otherwise if it's only one, 
Oh, I spoil I don't know. I, we can only guess and we'll wait and see, right? Uh, we don't know the exact size, so we know how many LEDs there are in it in the unit. Uh, three, what did I say? Three across and four down. Based on this size, that would make it about three inches across by four down. Uh, what's that? Ten centimeters across by twelve down. I think it'll be smaller than that though. I, I wouldn't be surprised if the LEDs are a little bit more um, squished in um, than these ones. And you know, there's a lot of frame here, um, which hopefully isn't the case with the Juvgo as well. But uh, the, the website, which I'll put a link to below, you can go to the official Juve website to find out more or what I'm telling you now. Uh, they state on it, and I've got these quotes here, light therapy in the palm of your hand, slip, one, slip the Juvgo in your purse or backpack, it's lightweight and handheld. So, I mean, maybe the size of an iPad mini, which I have, but it's not here. Um, I mean, here's a book. Love 2.0. Check it out. Uh, I was reading it the other day. Um, you know, if it's something like that size, then yeah, that would fit in the backpack. Uh, it's a bit bigger than hand size, but I mean, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, the issue, though, is going to be how thick it is. Obviously, these panels are quite thick, a couple inches thick. I mean, if it's that thick, then, you know. But again, they've got fans in it, so... I mean, the guys at Juve are pretty switched on, right? They've, they've made some pretty cool products. So, if their claims are legit, uh, it's going to fit in the size of your hand and, and will fit it, slip into the purse or backpack when you go traveling. So, we'll see. Um, what else? What else? What else? When will it ship? The Juve website doesn't reveal anything about pre-orders, shipping, or anything like that. Uh, that that page I was just referring to, the teaser page, has just gone live like a few days ago. So you can go on there and, and sign up, put your email in and sign up for, for updates. And again, I'll put the link to that below. Um, but given that it's just gone live, you'd have to assume that the shipment's not far away. I'm recording this on the 12th or 13th of December. So um, I don't know if it will come in time for Christmas because you think, you know, they'd have to start shipping, taking orders like right now. So that's a bit of a shame as I think it would be an awesome Christmas gift. Like seriously, it'd be a wicked Christmas gift for the biohackers out there. Um, but maybe they'll start pre-orders before Christmas. Uh, yeah, but anyway, I, I guess we can just wait and see and, and hope that it's uh, shipped soon and not later. Um, anyway, if you're keen to sign up for more news and, and release announcements for the Juve Go, head to the Juve website below um, and just enter your email and you'll get updates from Juve. But also be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, but I don't know, one of those corners. And because um, I'm going to put out a lot of information as soon as I get it uh, about the new device. So I'll be bringing you updates and of course a review as soon as I get my hands on this new Juve Go. Uh, and, and be sure to leave questions that you might have about this product. Like if there's something that you'd really like to know the answer to, uh, put it below. And if we get enough questions, what I'm going to do is go out to Juve and be like, hey, can you give me some answers? You know, can you help me out with a bit more information here? So again, leave your questions below and be sure to subscribe so you can be the first to hear about those new uh, updates and info tidbits. And um, yeah, let me know your thoughts as well. If you think this is a great product, let me know because I'm keen to hear what the feedback's like out there. Uh, and no, I'm excited by it. Obviously, price point will be a big factor. Um, but yeah, so give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Leave your questions below. Signing out.